Early voting for Tuesday's Texas primary wrapping up in less than two hours. Seven o'clock your deadline if you're trying to get out for tonight. One of the big races we know clearly for president of the United States. Our political reporter Jack Fink is here. So you spoke with Democrats and Republicans about this clearly. Uh, bottom line here in North Texas, what are they telling you as we stand today? Well, Doug, the presidential primary is anticlimactic this year because polls show both President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump are on their way to winning their party's nominations. And we're headed to a rematch of 2020 this November. We spoke with a small group of grassroots Republicans and Democrats, and they told us they're supporting the front runners. First, we'll hear from a couple of Democratic voters on why they're backing President Biden. I am voting for him because he has shown that he's not about the theaters. He is about getting things done. And I really have enjoyed that steady leadership we've seen from President Biden. As a member of Gen Z, a lot of his actions resonate with our values, whether that be um, diversity and equity or gun restrictions or reproductive rights. Um, uh, like Rebecca said, he is not theatrics. He is about the action. He has done a lot of the good hard work and uh, we wanna see him keep it up. And now we'll hear from a couple of the Republican voters about why they're supporting Mr. Trump. We would not have all of these wonderful pro-life laws across the country if that decision had not been given back to the states. So Roe v. Wade was a very big decision that was all due to what Donald Trump had done. I've been on board with Donald Trump since he's, you know, throughout this time. I was very uh, impressed with his first term. And um, I believe that he needs to have a second term in order to complete the job that he started. And coming up on Eye on Politics this Sunday morning, we asked them and other voters what they think it will take for their preferred candidate to win the White House in November. Plus, we'll also go in depth about Texas Republican leaders waging some bruising and brass knuckle battles against their own. Hope to see you at 7:30 Sunday morning on air and streaming for Eye on Politics.